It's great to be back with the KO Club. They're on the home stretch in their 14th week. Let's look how they're doing. Andy, it's good to see you again, and I'm excited to hear a little bit about your progress. It sounds like you're already down um, about 52 pounds from the beginning. How do you feel with that change in your body? It feels great. I have seen a huge difference in just looking at myself and physically what I can do. I know you have um, school on top of what you're doing here, and school is definitely a full-time job, and then also focusing on this can feel like a full-time job. How are you doing it? How are you making it happen? It's been like a huge struggle to have to balance school and working out on my own. It's a real test of how I'm gonna do after I leave this program. Dimitri has pushed me farther than I ever thought I'd you know, be able to physically work out. And now I have to do it on my own. So now I'm physically training myself slowly but surely uh, for the end of the program. Andy's young and he really is just trying to figure out how to juggle life along with this workout. It's really exciting that he is doing it when he has the support so that in the future he'll know what to do. I know that um, recently there's a lot of different things that are causing some stress in your life. Um, how are you dealing with that? It's hard to handle it. I'm trying. I'm not really like pessimist. I try to stay optimistic about everything. Um, I, I'm always trying to maintain a positive attitude but it's just right now at this point in my life there's a lot of personal issues, family, the weight loss is my major personal issue. I mean, I just have to make it work. Do you think that um, being in the gym has actually helped to become a stress reliever? Or is it something that you feel like brings more stress to you? Honestly, it's more stress. This whole process is a positive thing. It's just that like my day starts at 5 in the morning. I don't get sleep at night because I get home from the gym late because we, it's like we have to work around each other's schedules. That's almost becoming harder than the actual weight loss process, if that makes any sense. But yeah. Once this is over, I would basically just have my timing more set up and more convenient for my whole lifestyle. And I think that would be helpful. I won't be as stressed because I'll be getting sleep. This is actually right now, it's just like my boot camp to continue on. So it's good that it's this intense and this hard because once I'm done and I can do it the more convenient way, it'll be easier and I'll be used to it. So I'm, I'm gonna think about getting a membership here so that I can train with one of the personal boxing trainers. So what is your current meal plan looking like? When I started the program, I expressed to them that eating was hard for me because I'm about convenience. That's why I was always in a fast food restaurant. It's still about convenience, but now I'm doing the more healthy thing. I don't really, I don't do fast food. I stay away from sugar, I read labels way more than I used to, and I'm, I'm actually proud of myself. <laughs> because I'm making, I'm honestly making a better choice, and I see it, I feel it, and it's, it's definitely taking effect on my life, my family, the people around me, and everybody sees it, and I'm just spreading that energy. It is a powerful thing that you're doing. Thank you. So it's good to see you again. So how are you doing with juggling school and work and working out? Um, it's been real difficult. Um, last time we actually sat down and spoke, I, I just quit. You know, I just left, yeah. never came back. Why don't you tell Sarah why you have missed so many workouts already? Sometimes I don't show up because I have things to do. And when I am there, it's like, I don't want to be there. I will lose 60, 70 pounds in the next two months. But I'm not doing it for myself. I'm doing it just to prove a point. So what motivated you to get back into the gym? I was trying to, uh, do it on my own, you know, I was trying to put work, school, and uh, trying to work out at the same time, it just wasn't happening, but I'm very happy to have a trainer like Dimitri. Come on. I mean, I quit on him, but he never quit on me, and he was telling me, listen, you really need to get back into the gym. You know, I know you can do it. That's it, that's the one. Now I'm back, and um, I'm gonna try to uh, get these pounds to shed it off. So what's your plan of action? I'm actually gonna start, you know, working out a lot more, you know, following all the uh, instructions, that Dimitri is uh, telling us and just do it for myself and you know for my health. I'm very proud of you for recommitting to this to this entire adventure for yourself not for anybody else but for yourself. The idea for you kind of bouncing back and never giving up is very important. Quitting smoking typically takes about six to eight attempts before success. Obesity is very similar and Tommy is a prime example of this. So it's important for him to not give up.
I'm here at Taste of Brooklyn, where I'm about to do a cooking demo. Now the thing is, I'm a little shy when it comes to groups in front of me when I'm presenting, so that's why I needed the help of my director, Catherine Kostreva, to give me a hand. Now I've seen Dimitri in the kitchen, and he's so comfortable there, but since this environment is new to him, it's my pleasure to be here with him to do this demonstration, and I know that his food will speak for itself. These people are going to love his guacamole. How's everybody today? I'm gonna show you guys how to make fresh guacamole. So first what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take these avocados and open them up. Now, does anybody know why avocado is so good for you? It's high in omega-3. Oh yes, and it's like high fiber, it's great for women's skin. Now he told me something really interesting which I didn't know. He said he leaves the seeds inside once he makes the whole dish. The seed actually helps it from not turning brown so quick. It will give you a little extra time. Okay, so now we're gonna take our cilantro. You wanna try and chop your cilantro up nice and fine so it's not so chunky inside the guacamole. So cilantro helps relieve nausea, uh, bloating. Also, it reduces your blood sugar. So that's really, really good. That's good for diabetics. From an educational standpoint, it is so important to teach Americans how to eat better. Guacamole is simple to make, very few but healthy ingredients, super fast to make, and affordable, and yet a lot of people have no idea. Put a little fresh tomato in there. A little fresh lemon. Lemon's good actually for fat burning. This is extra virgin olive oil you put in. People do add salt as well for a little more flavor. It's not necessary. I don't like to use salt on anything. Everything that I'm making today is what we actually have on our menu in the restaurant on a daily basis. Now, does anybody know why healthy snacks are better for children as opposed to the sugary snacks? Absolutely, see? And see, you, I can tell already you get really good snacks at home, don't you? Yeah, because you're very smart, you have uh, good concentration levels, you're looking at me right now. You're not like sleeping, are you? No, see, that's wonderful. Here's fresh guacamole. Now the fun part is you guys get to eat some. <laughs> Go. Guac and chips? Here you go, free samples. You want more chips? I love the fact that everybody was loving my guacamole and my hummus that we made fresh right in front of them. I'm happy that they were actually eating this good food instead of that nasty junk food that makes you just tired and sluggish. Just the fact that everybody loved his food and reacted so strongly to his presentation, you can see that he's making a difference. People are grabbing the food faster than we can serve it. It's awesome. I had a really good time today and honestly I can't wait till the next presentation.